Hello guys and my valued viewers welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before big news for Denar just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Denar news. Hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed S. Al Sadani recently chaired an important meeting focused on making major improvements to Iraq's financial and banking sector. This meeting included several key officials such as the Minister of Finance and the Governor of the Central Bank of Iraq CBI. The Prime Minister emphasized the importance of having stricter controls over how money is moved, particularly during times of crisis in the region. He expressed concern over speculators, people who take advantage of unstable situations to profit unfairly and stressed the need to take action against them. To help businesses, he directed that the process for transferring money should be made easier and smoother. Additionally, a special task force is being created to tackle the country's economic challenges, aiming to propose reform packages that will address these issues effectively. One of the topics discussed at the meeting was the return of certain financial tools for investment at the central bank, which would be linked to how much money state-owned banks have in deposits. This is seen as a way to stimulate more investment and growth. The ongoing banking reforms, which are being carried out in collaboration with Ernst Young I, were also reviewed. These reforms are designed to improve customer services in the banking sector and make it easier to finance new projects. The goal is to build a stronger, more efficient banking system that can support Iraq's economy more effectively in the long run. Prime Minister Alabama Sudani also pointed out the need to review the interest rates that banks offer to people who deposit their money. This could encourage more people to save and invest in the banking system which would benefit the economy. Another key focus of the meeting was the push to increase the use of electronic payment systems in Iraq. The Prime Minister proposed a government program that would reward people for using electronic payments by giving them cashback incentives, which could help modernize the way transactions are handled across the country. This move is expected to make financial transactions faster, safer, and more convenient for everyone, helping Iraq keep pace with global developments in the financial world. 